This is Today in American History from the Saturday Evening Post, and it's August 30th. General Benedict Arnold of the American Continental Army agreed to surrender the American fort at West Point to the British today in 1780. He betrayed his country in retaliation for being passed over for promotion. His plans were intercepted, though, and he fled to the British lines. He eventually moved to England, but never profited from his betrayal as he'd hoped. Thurgood Marshall, the first black Supreme Court justice, was confirmed today by the Senate in 1967. His conservative critics called him a judicial activist and were alarmed in 1983 when he said the U.S. government was defective from the start and required several amendments and a civil war to start respecting individual freedoms. A 1902 Post article noted that America had entered the camera age. Few people were left in America who hadn't been photographed, and though Americans considered themselves modest, they were all prepared to have their picture taken. People would sit up, look pleasant, and move into the light when they saw someone carrying what even looked like a camera. For the Saturday Evening Post, I'm Jeff Nilsson. Thanks for listening.